It's coming up to that special time of year when you dress up warm and snuggle from the cold, jumpers, socks and woolen hats, early dark nights and the start of Christmas preparations. So this is going to be a really nice and easy and cute Poundland DIY. You're going to start off with this frame here. So as you can see it's like a shadow box. You do need the deep frame ones. Okay so I have just removed the packaging and now you need a background. So if you've got some cards, some old Christmas cards, this is a really great idea like of reusing them or a way to reuse them. I've just printed this out off the internet. It's on some card and we're just going to cut it and fit it into the frame. So we're going to remove all of this and you're going to use this as a template so you know how much to cut. I always find that just an easier way. So you can have a look at what area of the design or the paper you want. So I'm going to actually have a tree in mind, so I'm just going to maybe place it here and then we're going to cut. So once you've got it all cut out, you want to grab some of these. They're selling two in a pack. I always find these just so good. Then you're going to grab your sellotape and we're going to flip this around. You're going to take your fairy lights and then get your sellotape ready. And we're just going to cut little bits off each time and we're going to attach the fairy lights on and when you're doing this be careful not to put the sellotape on the fairy light head you want to add the tape to the wire and we're just going to cut another little strip and keep sticking the fairy light down with it. Now I am going to leave a little bit of mine, I'm not going to stick it all down because I want to add some to the tree later on. So I'm going to leave a little bit out. I'm just going to keep going with the tape, sticking it down onto the card. So let's see how many I've got to work with. So I've got three heads left to add to the tree. Now I'm going to flip this back over. Now this is how it looks. It just adds a little bit, you know, of something to it. Now I'm going to add some of these foam stickers. And I'm going to obviously have to be careful not to add it where the fairy lights are. So that's why I've turned it on so I can actually see. So let's have a look. One here. one there. Now we're going to bring the frame back and put it all together so get the backing, place the paper on top and then the glass Then grab the frame, slot it all inside and then put the clips back on. Now how gorgeous does this look already? Really nice, right? So you can see I've got the fairy lights. I've made sure that I've placed them in the front. So my glass is here and I've got the fairy lights and just securing the clips. And now we're going to start decorating the bottom of the frame. So to do that, you're going to start off by making some artificial snow. One of the ways I like to do this is taking some cotton wool. This is the cotton wool pleat type. take your hot glue. You can probably use like PVA for this as well. I'm just trying to be quicker with this. Just sticking it down. Don't worry it's not going to look like this when it's done. We're going to kind of like make it look more like snow. Now we're going to add our secret weapon which is a little bit of Glitter. Whoops, that's not a little bit. Let's just spread that out a little. And this really finishes it up and just makes it look more realistic. The camera's not doing a great job of picking that up. So I've just added a tree and then brought the wires and dangled them down. The third one didn't fit because of the bottle bit there. So in order to hide it, I can only use two 
fairy light heads on there. So I was planning to add the Santa but his butt is too big and he doesn't really fit that well. So instead I'm going to be taking this little Santa, he kind of looks like an elf and a gnome as well. They are wooden toppers but I'm going to stick him down with a bit of hot glue onto the snow right in the corner. Now I'm going to decorate the tree a little bit and to do this I'm going to take some of these garlands. Um, they've got different colours so I'm going to just chop them up. We're going to use little balls like this so I'm going to have a few different colours ones I've got here and we're going to hot glue them onto the tree. And now to finish off I'm taking these little stockings. I actually made these last Christmas so I will leave a link for that if you want to know how to make these but it is really simple. It's just pieces of felt glued together. I cut them out in the shape of a little boot and added the tinsel on the top. I'm going to add that with some hot glue in the corner and we are done. So this is my first DIY for winter or Christmas 2021 and I just can't wait to make more. It's definitely my favourite season to craft for and holiday time. I mean it's just so festive, what can you say? It's all joy and it's just so magical and I can get away with making miniatures more which I really really love. So the first clip I showed you was with the room light on and this one was with my lamp on so you can still see a little bit of light and then here it's just pitch black. You can just see the beauty and the magic come through a lot more. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.